interdependence between the living things too. Living things either produce, consume or decompose to maintain ecosystems. The producers. Green plants are called the producers because they produce and provide food to all the other living things who cannot produce their own food. They make their own food using the raw materials, sunlight, water, carbon dioxide and chlorophyll, which is present in their leaves. All of these are non-living elements. The plant food is called starch. Carbon dioxide plus water in presence of chlorophyll and sunlight gives starch, that is, the plant food. And oxygen that is released in air. This process is called photosynthesis. The consumers. These are the living things that are unable to produce their own food. They eat other living things. They depend upon plants either directly or indirectly. There are two types of consumers, the herbivores and the carnivores. 1. The herbivores the herbivores or the primary consumers like the cow, goat, deer and giraffe directly depend on plants for their food. Here the consumer eats the producer. 2. The carnivores The carnivores or the secondary consumers like the tiger, wolf, Cheetah and lion depend on animals for their food. Here the consumer eats other consumers. Omnivores like man, cat and dog are also secondary consumers. Here the consumer eats both the producers and the consumers. The scavengers, like the hyenas and vultures, are also secondary consumers as they eat the dead remains of the animals. The decomposers, the bacteria and other microorganisms present in the soil, decompose dead plants and animals into simple, non-living chemical substances. These substances increase the fertility of the soil. The green plants absorb these along with water from the soil and grow. Decomposers are actually recyclers. The non-living substances return to the soil water and air for use again. This is how the cycle is completed. Nature tries its best to keep the balance but industrialization and the lifestyle of man today is disturbing this equilibrium.